Welcome to all of us. This is the ugas bigas that we will put in the sinigang. So the first wash, I will pour it out. I will not include yet. But on the second time, that's the one I will include as the soup for the sinigang, which is called Hugas Bigas. So this is the Hugas Bigas. I will put it in my sinigang. So this is the one for the soup of the sinigang. And then I will cook this as the rice. Okay? So we have here the the fish. So in accordance with the healthy lifestyle which we are advocating, we would prefer to have fish rather than uh, pork or beef at that. So we'll have malaga uh, for what? Oh, five pieces of malaga there. And of course uh, shrimps. Shrimps and malaga. We will cook in tomatoes, yeah. ripe tomatoes, and then I will also include this. Um, uh, I will extract the juice of the calamansi so to make it a little sour. And I will put one uh, piece of onion and a little ginger but most importantly uh, I will need to put vegetables on it so it's better to have fish dish which has vegetables so a while back I went to the garden and gathered some uh, tops commodity tops and this is local spinach and then of course these are the the blossoms or the flowers of my katurai, okay? Katurai trees uh, right there in the garden. And also from my blue turnip or from my samsamping, okay? For the samsamping, the blue butterfly pea. We have this lots of flowers that I use in my tea and also I use it for the Seneca. So, see as a flower lover, I would put flowers also in my fish um, dish. The Seneca would have the two red flowers and also the uh, butterfly pea flowers, the blue flowers, blue and white flowers for my Seneca. Okay. So let's see how is it and let's taste it after a while. So that um, the juice will be included in the soup. And take a look at it. They're like uh, looking like flowers also. <laughs> As a flower lover, you know, I can see flowers in almost everything. So we need to slice it this way. Once again, this way. Ginger and, and 
the onion. Uh -huh. I almost forgot the names. <laughs> Ginger and onions. Okay. So maybe we can stir. But we will put the vegetables later. Okay. I'm going to cook a little bit. And then put the vegetables. Other vegetables later. So we can cook the fish. Oh, we have big fish. No, no. So here, malaga. So the hugas because the water that came in from, from the rice. When we wash the rice the second time. We call it locally hugas because, alright? So we will now put the fish. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think it's going to be good. Five. Five malaga. Five pieces. And then this one, the shrimps. Some shrimps. One, two. That's about 20 or 30 pieces of shrimps. Okay. Four ingredients. The mm. juice. This salt to taste, salt, and we put salt, and then um, brown sugar, and brown sugar. So I don't use uh, seasoning or the MSG, I don't use that. So I just use some um, sugar and salt. Then I'll be putting this again a little bit later than. The vegetables because they are easy to cook. That's going to be the last thing. I want to put the vegetables. It's almost uh, cooked. So I want to be putting the vegetables first. The katuray, the katuray blossoms. Okay, there, there you are. Katuray, and then. The commodity tops and the taninum or the local spinach. White, green, and then we will have the we'll have this for the last the last drop. The last one to be placed is the is this the color blue. It's green, rather green, white vegetables, and then this one, the blue butterfly. It's almost done. So, a few minutes. We're gonna have the Filipino specialty, another Filipino dish rather, which is um, sour fish. Fish that is mixed with vegetables. So we can have a vegetable soup. But of course we have malaga and the shrimps. We have tomatoes and calamansi, so it's a little sour. But I also put in a little sugar. So. But it's going to be quite tasty. All of these ingredients right here that are locally available in the garden. So I just uh, picked all of this vegetables from the garden at the back. Okay. Thank you. I hope everybody can taste this. <laughs>